Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with random reviews from the Overflow Room, Richard Strauss, volume 11. Oh my God, we're getting through it. I'm so excited. And we start with the Schulte Rosen Cavalier. Yes, with Regine Crespin. She's marvelous. Manfred Jungwirth, Yvonne Mitten is a very effective Octavian. Otto, Otto Wiener, Helen Donat. Amy Luce, Mary Dickey, and everybody else, you know, the usual Rosen Cavalier cast. I mean, it's like all these same people keep showing up with the Wiener Philharmoniker. It's very good. You know, there are, I don't know if there are any really bad recordings of Rosen Cavalier. It's very effectively written. It seems to always go well. It really does, and it goes well there. And then we have the Rosen Cavalier film music, which I did a separate video about. This is very interesting. Strauss himself arranged like a good two hours or so of all that music. I mean, there's just a lot of Rosen Cavalier here, and it's, it's quite effective, and it's endless. And uh, there you go. You can go watch the video about that if you're curious. It's on Capriccio, and it's, it's you know, a novelty. Oh, another novelty. This is fun. Andre Previn in the Vienna Phil. This is a late Previn recording doing suites from the operas. You get Rosen Cavalier, Intermezzo, the four symphonic interludes, which are a nice rarity. I like those. Capriccio's Introduction and Moonlight Music, and Salome's Dance. Really nice, well recorded, lots of fun. Definitely different. And this thing, oh gosh, I already had one of these, didn't I? Yes, we talked about this. Salome Final Scene, Dance of the Seven Veils, five orchestral songs of Montserrat Caballé, and the Orchestra Nacional de France. And then Arrigo Boito, the prelude to, Mep prelude to Mephistopheles with Nikolai Gyarov and the Wiener Philharmonic and Leonard Bernstein. I think I said it was with Nikolai Geta in the last one. So now I have two of them. I can correct it. It's Gyarov. Apologies. Strauss leader with Diana Damrau and Christian Thielemann. Well, lots of, lots of orchestral leader. This is fun. Wow, when was the last time I heard this? a while ago. This is on the Munich Philharmonic and Virgin Classics and goodness gracious, when did that come out? I have to tell you, I don't remember it at all. I have no memory of it whatsoever. I'm going to put this aside and go listen to it later because I just don't remember having heard it. It could be that I got it and just put it away because some of these recordings, you know, I'm not the opera guy in classics today. That's Bob Levine and he's fabulous. And, and he recommends things, and I get them. And sometimes I get them, and I'm busy with other stuff, and I forget about them. This is one of them. You tell me how it is. I can't wait to hear it. It's an old yes. It was on Virgin Classics. See that? The Virgin Classics thing? Did it go that way? I don't know. There you go. Wow. Oh, look. Capriccio with Carl Bohm. We talked about this in the last one. Maybe this is why I had this over here. I don't know. Let me just shove that in there. Um, that's the best one. We've already said that five or six times. Ooh, wow. Frau, what we call in the rapper biz, Frosch, which is German for frog, F-O-R-S-C-H, which stands for the Frau ohne Schatten. Get it? F-R is Frau, O is ohne, and S-C-H is Schatten. And this is the Savalish one. Now, it's very interesting. This one came out at the same time as the Schulte one. And rumor has it that the Schulte one, they had this one in the control room and they were playing it and comparing it so they could make theirs sound better or something like that. It's quite good. It's quite good. It's got Rene Kohler, Cheryl Studer, Anna Schwartz, Andrea Schmidt, um, Uta Vinsing, Alfred Muff, and, and other like famous people all frowing around. I mean, Frau was like a total rarity until recently. It was so big and so glitzy and so glamorous that no one could tolerate it. And then all of a sudden, it made a comeback and it got recorded multiple times. It has four or five new recordings, like in digital, which is like astonishing. And it's maybe Strauss's greatest opera, maybe his greatest work. Who knows? Salome! Yay! With Montserrat Caballé. This is one of the great Salomés. And Eric Leinsdorf. Cheryl Mills, Richard Lewis, Regina Resnick, James King, really, really first class. And Caballé is fantastic. It was a role that she never sang on stage for, I think, obvious reasons. But she sounds gorgeous. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. And she really throws herself into the part. It's a real, real sleeper salome for people who... And also in the Caballé discography. She was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So let's just shove those up there. And last... But not least for this 
rather brief, brief thing, because most of them are operas, and some of them I've talked about already. This is the historic Frau, the stereo Carl Böhm classic Vienna cast. It's cut, it's cut in bits, but the cuts aren't huge. I mean, it's still three hours and 15 minutes long, 195 minutes and 91 seconds. That's long. And you've got you've got Hans Hopf, Leni Riesenek, Elisabeth Hengen, Paul Schulzer, Crystal Goltz as the, as the Frau um, in question, Kurt Boema. I mean, really a wonderful ensemble cast. They'd done it at the Vienna Opera. They donated their services because Decca never thought it was going to make any money. It sounds just terrific, and it is a fantastic performance. A real labor of love and one that belongs in every Strauss collection hands down. And that is the end of our penultimate Strauss from the Overflow Room discography review. Stay tuned and keep on listening. The grand finale cometh next. Take care.